Hey everybody, we're looking at Forger for the Nintendo Switch here. This is also out on PlayStation 4 and has been out on PC since April. This is a Humble Bundle game. They're now publishing games, so of course, if you're a Humble Bundle partner, you can ask for a key and I ask for a key. Though I do not have to make a video, I thought this game is pretty cool and get more eyes on it. This is from Hopfrog, a kind of, it looks like it's a it, single guy because you get these ex, these extras as you progress, play and it will tell you how he made it, which is kind of cool. Uh, this game is kind of like a don't starve, a little bit of, a little bit of Zelda. Um, is I've heard some people think like it kind of like Minecraft, but not really. I, every game is like Minecraft in some way, but it's not a block builder or anything. But this game is like really fun, but most longly I can think of it as a Don't Starve as you kind of, there's no really kind of threat to you like in Don't Starve, but you are kind of building up a little base and foraging throughout and kind of exploring. So we're going to play kind of the first few minutes here in the new game and then uh, here's a 10 hour, holy shit I've got 10 hours in that game. Uh, it, it's, it can get pretty fun. So first you start off on this island and you just have a pickaxe and it tells you your menu and from here you can build uh, a furnace, a store, a forge, a spining station and as you kind of level up here through skills you can get you know new access to new abilities kind of four different trees of economy kind of magic uh, foraging kind of arch ar you know agriculture and then kind of your building right here with industry. And that's pretty much it. Like, it's really robust. It's, like, pretty crazy how kind of deep this game can get. You know, it wasn't until, like, seven hours in, I'm like, this seems okay. I, don't, I mean, I'm kind of, like, running into a ground of, like, what do I do? And then I unlocked a new, new item, and it kind of just kept on spiraling. So, again, you first start off on this little island, and it's like, okay, you just start clearing. You know, just start clearing as you do, like in, you know, Minecraft or, you know, don't, again, like, very similar to Don't Star. You're craft, you're just gathering stuff right now. And then you can start building furnaces, which allow you to kind of smelt things. Uh, so you can make iron, gold, coal. Uh, you do find coal throughout the area. Uh, farming, you know, you can build some bridges, do some fishes, fish traps, easy access to food. Bridges allow you to go, you know, walk on the land. But as you start progressing, you're going to have to buy some land. And right off the start, it's pretty easy. It's not, you know, 30, 30 gold isn't really that hard if you really think about it. Uh, it's just... As you start progressing, y you want to build a forge from here. You can build... Uh, start making coins and then if you go down the economic tree you can actually just have banks that generate money for you and then as you keep on progressing you can build wallets that make gold more uh how do you say like more valuable so every time you pick up one coin at the start it's one coin but down the line it starts turning into five coins ten coins twenty coins such such so it, it can kind of spiral uh there's always kind of new things you're kind of looking for. About in my main game, I'm kind of like, kind of a little bit overwhelmed. Um, so you you can pick up berries right off the start. You got three hearts. If you die, that means I wish it really didn't say it would say game over, but it would save right before you die, and it would kick you back to the start of the screen, and then you just you would just load you right before you died. It really sucks. Later on, you start to get more advanced foods that you cook that will regenerate your health. You also get more health and more stamina as you level up uh, throughout the game. You encounter these chests that have these little orbs in them, and then you can, you know, start leveling up. So let's... That's pretty much the basis of it. So let's uh, get out of here uh, and then show you the fucking real rabbit hole of this game. But it, it's... <sighs> It's really fucking crazy. Um, so now I got an item. It, like, literally burns things. It's nuts. So I'm just, like, cutting through this shit. I can just run and cut. And then, you know, I get that. 
I just have so much shit going on. I constantly having kind of, you know, shit being crafted, coal constantly being crafted. I also have skills that allow me... It, it's pretty nuts right now. It's pretty nuts. So I have, like, it even gets down into physics and lasers and shit. So what is this? I think automation right here. Unlocks mining rods, crafting items collected by themselves. So they get thrown into your bag so you can always do something else. Oil derricks and... and it, it's pretty crazy. Like, it's pretty crazy. Um, you know, start making plastic electronics droids, which are fucking... I don't... Where is my droid? Dude, where the fuck is he? Oh, no, he's over here. So he just starts collecting things randomly. He goes around the map, collects things. So he's collecting eggs. It's just... Collecting wool off these sheep. It, it, it's it's a it could be a little bit much. Um, it, it, I, I'm at a point where it's kind of like a little bit overwhelming on what I need. I'm constantly having to deal with like there's just so much crap. Especially when you have a droid, it just constantly picks up shit. Like now I I I'm pretty sure I just picked up like 200 eggs as soon as I uh, picked that guy up. So we could put him back. I don't know what he does there. Not really explained. There's a lot of stuff that isn't explained. You can even make potions. Um, later on, you, you can make... Kind of, the pickaxe is your main weapon. Though you can get a sword that does more damage than the pickaxe. But since everything kind of gets in your way, it's better just to have the fucking pickaxe. Uh, you get bows, you get amulets that... You know, amulets, gloves, and boots have like a buff. And then you also can get tombs too. Some of these are, like, really hard to make, but they all have, like, buff. Let's see. Can I... Let's see. Can I... Let's see. Where is it? Where is it? Where's that shit? Ah, oh, here it is. So, it increases your XP gain. Uh, attack speed increased by 40%. Uh, gives a 15% chance to dodge attacks. Uh, big wallet coins are worth 100% more kind of stuff. And so, you know, you get kind of cool stuff as you start upgrading... Um, so there is some, there, there is the fire kind of pickaxe that I got that said, Hey, light stuff on fire. And then I got this crystal axe. It doesn't say that it lights stuff on fire. So if every item that had a buff, you upgrade it, it still has that buff. So you get wands too. Some of these are ki kind of boring. Um, so here's a lightning one. It always, Again, I'm using uh, on a controller with the uh, with the Joy-Cons. It's always pointing to the right. It would be really nice if it pointed to where whatever direction I was looking. So it, it is kind of hard to aim with this stuff. So you have a like a little energy bar. You kind of just you know, shoot it, and it fucking wrecks shit. Then we have an ice one that freezes stuff. Let's see. Yeah, it freezes stuff mainly for mobs. Um, and, and gadgets, or, you know, there's some puzzles to it. Then there's, like, a fireball thing. This is, this is some clearing. And then, of course, there's a skeleton one that spawns a skeleton at the target. I'm pretty sure, I'm not 100% convinced on if this is good, because I did get an item to make it so skeletons don't attack me. There's different regions, too. There's, like, the forest area... Uh, snow area. Each each world is going to be randomly generated for you, on terms of like what you're going to get, like the the layout. But in terms of like the layout of the map, I think the snow is always in the north, uh, the desert's always in the this area, um, the fire lands is this area, and then the dead area too. Um, and each area has like little puzzles and dungeons that you can go through that unlocks more stuff. Like, this game's, like, really cool and really kind of deep. Uh, I think the last video I did... Was it, um, kind of... I don't have a fondness for, for kind of indie games, because there's a lot of indie games out there, and a lot of them are kind of shitty and mediocre. And I feel like some of them build on nostalgia a little bit too much. Like Shovel Knight, like somehow that's a crazy game that people love. I'm like, dude, this looks like a generic platformer. And then there's just like tons of platform, you know, these 2D ass are said, you know, platformers that all kind of look the same. Of course, they do a little bit something different. 
but it's just like, you know, it would be nice to get something different. You never see any, like, good 2D, like, sharp. Uh, each biome has its own kind of diversity of what you get. Um, you know, this, this kind of skeleton one has, uh, you know, to get stone, you go after these graveyards, but if you attack the graveyards, they... You know, spawn a skeleton, pumpkins, and then whatever that, that is. What is that? Nightshade. And the snow one has gems. The fire one just has, like, more... What is it? More. Let's see. Oh, here's the bank. Just, just like, a shit ton of shit. This is also where you farm. Again, it is... It's a pain in the ass to use the sword because, again, it, a lot of... They just spawn. Uh, you know, shit just spawns. But it's so hard to navigate some shit. So. There we go. Come on. What the hell? And they didn't... Just, just do so, you, there's dungeons and shit in here. That you clear and you do stuff, but... I've already cleared it. Just gonna put a check mark over it. Any kind of, like, dungeon area type of stuff. It will say if it's cleared. Yeah, I cleared this one too. This game is like really cool. Uh, they're also gonna. He, he's gonna add more. So this is a kind of a like a shrine type of thing. So only one shrine can be at once. You gain more for slaying enemies. Only one obelisk at a time. There's cuttings of them around the map. I kind of wish there was better kind of item management, especially this late game. Uh, this is kind of like a. A negative plus a positive type of thing. So it will take one HP, but you will get a bunch of shit. I, I don't do those. Don't do those, because if you kind of click on it, you can't unclick it. So you can also make vaults, but like they're only a three by three, and it would be nice if there was just more, just more space. So these are banks, you know. I think I have enough money for, for buying land, yeah? Again, it's just kind of hard to see beyond certain areas. Like, it's just... I don't know. There's the nitpicks, but it's just like, you know, whatever. Okay, let's, uh, let's go here. Oh, this is a fire... A fire, uh, puzzle. Let's see, let's see, let's see if we can do this. Oh, this is a... Uh, okay, okay. Some of these are, like, really fucking hard. That, like... I'm, like, fuck it. I'm just gonna look online, because some of this stuff... There's some pretty hard puzzles on here. They're just like, holy fuck. They need to chill out here with a second here. Um, you do get quests. This guy gives a quest, and they'll give you items. Most guys have three quests. Like, it would be nice if this shit was just, like... Not fucking overflowing with shit. Like, yeah, I could put a, a rod there, uh, which would farm it, but it's just like, then I, I, I don't need this shit. Here we go. Where is it? God damn it. Um. It does can get pretty laggy. It is getting a little bit laggy right here. In one of these dungeons, you... I think it was the crystal dungeon. You were kind of navigating and using laser beams. And it would just lag the fuck out of the switch. Uh, though I was using it in kind of portable mode. It was still just like not a good experience. I had to turn off these switches. Or like leave the come and come back. Come on. I, I just want to fly. Like, just... Can I get a flying over here? Can I not enter this? God damn it. I guess I can't. That sucks. So this one is, like... A lot of them have little little hints on, on the buildings. And it would just be really fucking nice if that was a little bit stated. Oh, did I do this? Yeah, I did. It's just... It, there's some stuff to look... It's easy to find stuff, but... I mean, this is such a cool game. 
It's a great indie game. It's a great Switch game. Uh, if you have a Vita, uh, that would be also be pretty good. I feel like not a lot of people talk about the Vita. So when you have a... If you have a PlayStation 4, you can stream it to your Vita. Vita is pretty sweet console. I feel like it's better than the... Um, the Switch because it predates the Switch and it does exactly what the Switch does besides the kind of the connective thing. Um, but anyways, yeah, the Switch is a good console for indie games. Not really good for anything else unless you love those in Mario games. Um, but yeah, I don't know what more to say about this game. If you have any questions, more you're more than likely to uh, ask them in the comments. But yeah, th this game's like really cool and just like it's a great game. To kind of just like watch some TV and then play in the background. I just wish it didn't kind of ramp up so fast. That I think that's the big problem I'm having. It's just there's just so many fucking systems going on at once, and kind of understanding and how stuff works and, and how things are how things are made. Um, so this description table requires green pigment, but you need to get you need seaweed, and the only way I can see f to get seaweed is from these freezing traps, and it's like. A pain in the ass. It really is a pain in the ass. It would be a little bit better if you can, if it was something else, or maybe you could turn something into seaweed or use something else because seaweed is extremely rare. It's like one of the more rare things in this game, and a lot of things require seaweed in some extent. Um, some of the crafting could be a little bit better. I, I kind of wish. It's just like there's just so many different combinations and so that's just all sorts of different items that you have to carry in your bag it's just it, there's so many items like i'm just full of crap like i don't need a thousand stone so but i constantly get it and you know i could sell it you could sell stuff and get money for it but it's just I, i'm gonna need stone later on actually i don't need stone That's it for me, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys had a good time. See you guys in the next one. Bye.